My brothers and sisters, we all say the gift of Allah, the Quran. You know, if the Quran drops, may Allah protect us. But the Quran, I'm talking of the book where the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is written. The Quran, if it were to drop, what happens? Immediately we rush, we pick it up, we put it up and we say, Astaghfirullah, Allah forgive us. You know, it was disrespect to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But my brother, a bigger disrespect than that is to have the Quran all over your shelves and to have plaques in your home with Ayatul Kursi and you don't know what it means and to have Surat this and you don't know what it means and the entire Quran is there and you've never ever read it and you're just shining it every day. Wow, I got this manuscript. You know, the last time I went to Istanbul, the mayor gave me a beautiful book. Look at this. Wow, it's handwritten Quran. My brother, stop insulting the word of Allah. My sister, stop insulting Allah's word. A manuscript was sent to you and all you did was considered it an ornament. Is that what the Quran is all about? An ornament? The hadith of the Prophet ﷺ complains about this. That there will come a time when people will consider the Quran an ornament. That's it. In fact, the Quran, Allah says, وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ يَا رَبِّ إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَهْجُورًا The verse has several meanings. One of them is when the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam complained to Allah, Oh Allah, my people have disregarded this Quran. My people have disregarded, disrespected this Quran. Obviously the, the, the verse it has much deeper meaning, but the lesson for us my brothers and sisters do not discard it. We all say the Quran is a miracle. The Quran is a miracle. The Quran is the word of Allah. What have we done to this book? This is why we are struggling today because we don't even know the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I hope and I pray we make an effort to learn, learn the words number one. So you learn the Arabic wording. It's not so difficult. It requires dedication. The other day we heard about Zayd ibn Thabit radiallahu an, how he learned Hebrew in two weeks. He was back. He knew the language as a master. Well, we should be loving the Arabic language more than that. My brothers and sisters, at least in two years we would know it. At least in 20 years we should know it. Allahu Akbar. Sometimes we've been Muslim for the last 50 years, 60 years. We still don't know anything regarding the word of Allah. All I'm trying to do is to encourage you, inshallah, to encourage you to say, let's do something about it.